Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead, and he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord's right hand has triumphed, his right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount his deeds. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sequence. Christians to the Paschal victim offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the Lamb, and Christ, the undefiled, hath sinners to his Father reconciled. Death with life contended, combat strangely ended. Life's own champion slain, yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels were attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope, has risen. He goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead, we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Let's stand to greet the Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then in the Lord. Alleluia. Peter reached the tomb first. He bent down 
and saw the linen clothes lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following, now came up, went right into the tomb, saw the linen clothes on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen clothes, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment, they have failed to understand the teaching of Scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, my dear friends, the whole church, the whole Christian family celebrates the story of the empty tomb. The story of the empty tomb, my dear friends, is a story of victory. It is that story we all hang upon. It is the story of our lives. As we journey through our lives, we go through a lot. We experience a lot of things. Sickness, disease, joy. We do get at some point celebrate. We go through a lot of paces in our lives. But every time we must remember that we are story we celebrate. And so my dear friends, as you share Easter eggs with your children, as you give them the Easter eggs, and as they get to enjoy the beauty, the taste of the chocolate, as they crush into it, tell them the story of the empty tomb. Tell them of the story that happened some time ago, some many, many years ago, of Jesus who rose from the dead. Tell them of a story when Jesus' disciples went the following morning after they buried Jesus, they went in the following morning, very early on in the morning, to the tomb. And as they go to the tomb, they realized that Jesus was not there. They only saw the clothes lying about in the tomb, but Jesus was not there. Tell your children about that story. It is a great story that helps us to celebrate life. To celebrate life that has been given to us as a gift. Life that has been showered upon each and every one of us. The gift that has been given freely when we did not deserve it. And that is the eternal life. The empty tomb, my dear friends, reminds us that our lives have no end and not even in death. Our lives do not end in death. They have a continuity. We continue as we rise with our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is what Jesus has given to each and every one of us. He has given to you. He has given to me. He has given to all of us freely. Freely. When we did not deserve it. But it comes from the abundance of his love. From the abundance of his mercy. We all have been redeemed. So this is our story today. I invite you now, my dear friends, to stand as we renew our baptism our promises. Dear friends, through the past we have been buried with Christ in baptism 
so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. I am the Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of sins. Keep us by His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, Amen. Dear friends, filled with pastoral joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that He who graciously listen to the prayers and supplications of His beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our holiness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the good shepherd. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their soul may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our own parish community and the whole world, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We now pray in the silence of our hearts. We now ask our Mother Mary to pray with us and for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. O God, who we'll know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, Hear the desires of those who cry to you, and revive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, for grace and for forgiveness of the sin and the value of the Lord. Through the way I have ever been my hands and the God for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, for grace and for forgiveness of the sin that they might be offered you. Through the divine word of human hands that we come to ask for it to our name. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, and the praise of your name for our good and the Holy Spirit. Thanks, Lord, to be blessed, O Lord, to be offered a sacrifice by which your church is one for us to be reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord will be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our Lord. It is truly right to transfer to the dust of question at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, and for relent, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers and their daily hosts sing together their ending hymn of your glory, as they are today. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you first for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant you peace, to gather, unite, and govern them throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Lord, and John our Bishop, and all those who hold in the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise. Or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well being. Being their honor to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Cosogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your own family, which we bring to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new bread of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal temptation, 
and count it among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh, oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may be us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he stayed in the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Santa was ended, he took this charm, precious charms, in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave you the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we Christ our Lord. 
through whom we have continued to make all things good, all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, my brethren, my with the help of the Lord's voice and Alphonsus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most of the sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come in this spiritual into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Christ our Passover has been sacrificed on the Lord. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and faith, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 